I went fucking dumpster diving to build this bookshelf. Historic maps of coastal Massachusetts, 1600 to 1930. The south part of New England, as it is planted this year, 1634. This is what put Boston on the map. Literally, this is the first time Boston appears on a map. It's right here. In this area right here, around Horn Pond, that's where I live. Wow. Chart of Boston Harbor in Massachusetts Bay with map of adjacent country, 1865. Again, this is where I live, off the corner of this map, unlabeled. This is where after work, my wife and I like to drive downtown and go for a walk and look at the big houses. On one of those walks, we found this house being renovated. And according to Zillow, it was built in 1890, just 25 years after that second map was made. This dumpster was filled with original framing. And the cheap opportunist in me saw this as free lumber for my next project. And that next project was a bookshelf for our living room. We were running out of space to store our books and we didn't have a place to store our records for our record player. So after taking the measurements, I gathered some inspiration started sketching, landed on a design, and then went to town. Enjoy the process. These boards have to be original to the house. I mean, look at these nails. They're gnarly, square, they look handmade. I've never seen anything like it before. And this plank clearly says 1795. It could be the year it was made or the lot number, I don't know, but that's what it says. Either way, these boards need to be glued up and milled. I don't have any expensive equipment, I just have hand tools and a circular saw. So here we go.
I felt real good about myself at this point. I felt like a real woodworker. I was getting real exact with these measurements and penciling in areas that I needed to keep and areas that I needed to cut. But those exact measurements flew out the window as soon as I brought the saw into the picture. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is not good. This is what I was talking about. There's chip out everywhere. I tried my hand at the box joints and it did not go very well. Mostly because of the tools I have. What'd you just say? No, mostly because of the lack of experience. I'm gonna pivot here to just do butt joints. It's simple and I only have a circular saw and I don't think I can mess that up. Side panels were beyond salvageable, so I had to restart the process with some new timber. I'm so close to being done. The pieces are cut to the exact size, so all I have to do now is stain and assemble this thing.
here it is. I am stoked with the way this bookshelf came out. And it's all because I didn't skip any steps in the beginning. I went through the whole design process of inspiration, sketching, and refining, and I landed on a great design. The build had its ups and downs, but I was able to adapt, and the end product was even better than I originally imagined. Not only meets the needs, but it looks great in the space. Thanks for watching.